Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Kange household of faith. This is Family Corner. Yes. I am super excited. I am super here. excited today. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I have been, you know, praying and 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 looking into the into the spirit realm and seeing people's deliverance today. Amen. Today is one of those days I'm high pitched like you. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That's right. Hello, hello, hello. Well, guys, this is the Kange household of faith, and we are having Family Corner, right? Yes, Where yes. we bring to you the, the word, word of restoration, restoration in the spirit, spirit of faith. faith. So we are very excited, Hallelujah. and, and yeah. we know that God is going to be doing some amazing things yes, today. Yes, I hope yes. you're ready. Guess what? You need to go on and call your people. Let them come on because it is going to be amazing today. The Lord shall be glorified. Yes. The Lord shall be glorified because of the anointing, the Shabbat deliverance this day yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Pastor Pauline, I'm, 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 I share. Okay, great. All right. Awesome. So you guys go ahead and share. Thank you. We are enjoying the, the sharing process today. It's 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 nice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hello, Pastor Pia. <laughs> you are welcome. You're all welcome. Pastor John, how are you? Hey, Pastor John. God bless you. I miss you. Hallelujah. Pastor Comfort. Hey, God bless you. Rebo Shanda Rababa. Pastor Comfort. There is a miracle. Mm -hmm. There is a miracle that is coming your way. And and this is for someone that you're going to be praying with. I see someone who is um um who is on their bed unable to move. Someone that you will be praying for. And the Lord is going to bring that your way and they are going to be delivered from that sick bed in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Amen. Watch Amen. out particularly on the 26th. On the 26th, I hear the 26th, 26th is going August, to be exciting. August Someone, yes, 26th of this month. Okay. Someone is going to be receiving miracle. Um, Pastor Comfort, get ready for that. It's going to be great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like the I like the prophetic. I like the word of knowledge. I like information that comes from the throne of God. Hallelujah. Hello, Pastor Evelyn. How are you? She says, I'm ready. Hello, Pastors. Very good. Hello, Sister Barbara. How are you? Guys, check this out. Welcome, check this out. Welcome, check this welcome. out. I hope you're ready. You have your oil and you have your a proms or handkerchief, you know, because we are going to be having some some glory time, you know, like this one. For those of you who, you know, spend your prayer time with that. Maybe it's it's this size. That's okay. But like we said the other day, we are believing the Lord the that, that the glory, yes, <laughs> that the glory of God is going to come into the oil and you yes. can put it on someone and they will receive their miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello, Joanne. Amen. How are you? Felicity. Welcome, Laura. Denmark in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Denmark. Hey, Pastor Karin. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hello, Eddie Hello, George. Hello, Dominic. Hi, hey, Pastor Karababa Shanda. Eddie George, as I called your name, as I called your name, I heard I heard the coming alive of dry bones. And when I heard the coming alive of dry bones, I began to hear that there is a stirring up in the realm of the glory. There's a Thank stirring you, up of the pastoral call upon your life. You, so Lord. you get ready because God is going to be doing some things in Amen. your life. And, and there is a stirring up that's going on. So get Amen. ready for God is going to move you in a new direction. Hallelujah. In a new direction. Uh, and pay attention to the month of September. Pay attention to the month of September. Um, it's going to come with some wonderful things for you, Eddie George. Hallelujah. Hello, Hallelujah. Sister Tina. God bless you. Hi, Pastor D. Hello, Pastor Lucy. There are so many pastors on the line today. Well, they are always there, so. <clears throat> but I think um, it's been highlighted today. Hallelujah. It's an hallelujah. honor to speak into the lives of men and women of God. Yes, ma'am. And and for me, it, it's such a privilege and it's a demonstration of of humility. Yeah. That you are in 
minister of the gospel, you are a pastor and you're willing to listen to another pastor speak. Praise God. It, Praise it speaks God. volumes. It, it speaks of humility. It speaks of an understanding, a discerning of the body, mm. recognizing that somebody else can pour into you. <clears throat> and you are not all that in yourself. Praise God. So it's, a, it's a good place to Hallelujah. be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, Heart Abina. Posture. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a glorious day. Uh, Pastor Comfort says, thank you, Lord, for the 26th. She says, I'm ready. Very good. Amen. That's Very right. Good. La to remember. <laughs> rababa. Hi, Pastor Evelyn. Welcome. It's so good to have you. September to remember. All right. All right. All right. This word. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. September to remember. Praise God. That's right. The September month for you to remember. <laughs> Mary George, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Remo Shanda Rababagabo, Leke Biando Rodo. We are ready, we are ready, we are ready, we are ready, we are ready. Hallelujah. All right, so it's time to pray. It's time to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, O oh God, for your faithfulness. We bless you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Bless you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Bless you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Make a brand of Scotali Hinda Kikorolo Shanna Y Commander Lehi Kakakorolo Mosia Baranda Kishiti Kikorolo Kana Tikibinda Habado Zobroko Shanda Father, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name for your faithfulness. We bless your holy name. Mandaske Paranda. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your faithfulness. In you will live and move and have our being. In you will live and move and have our being. In you will live and move and have our being. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Even as we are praying, I saw in a vision. I saw a gentleman and I saw that the gentleman was coming down from something and the image got bigger so I began to look at it and I saw that he was coming off of a dragon as if he had been holding the reins and controlling the dragon and the direction the dragon was going and I began to ask the Lord what is this and he said to me that which controlled the enemy and directed the destroyer against my people today is being dethroned. Thank you, Lord. That which directed the destroyer today is being dethroned. That which directed the destroyer to bring destruction to my people this day, this day, it is being dethroned. This day, it has been dethroned. Yes, the you. assignment of the enemy against your life. The assignment, the assignment of the enemy, the assignment of the enemy today, this day, this day is being terminated. Amen. It's been terminated. Amen. It's been terminated. Amen. It's been terminated. It's been terminated. It's been terminated. This day. This day. This day. This day. This day, the assignment of the enemy, the assignment of the enemy is being cut short in the name of Jesus. Come on, someone receive that. Receive that wherever you are. Receive that wherever you are. This day, 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 the assignment of the enemy the assignment of the enemy the assignment of the enemy this day mako dali bragada yadada iko tolo kropo shabra ganda yadolo bro maki dele brehe ke dala braka do yo sharabra meki andalo bro gora there is a dawning of a new day for someone this day monday skabiro lo bro gonda la gragadi a dawning of a new day a dawning of a new day ye bro go la bragada balabala 
interesting you're saying that uh, as uh, that's based on the vision you just saw because yes. I, I came off of an information this evening yes. in which God was saying, I just heard a scripture. I didn't hear the, the, I heard the phrase and I knew it was a scripture. So I had to go into my Bible to look for it. Yes, it is the story uh, of, of, of Paul. Mm -hmm. the, the phrase that I heard was, over 40 men bound themselves to a curse. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That they will neither eat nor drink until Paul is dead. Okay, they shall die dead. And God said, they shall eat the, the, the fruit of their lips. That is it. They shall eat the it. fruit of their lips. <clears throat> I heard that clearly this evening. Haram. And so I had to go into the word of God to look for the scripture. And it's found in Acts chapter 23. The Bible says that they plotted, they anathematized themselves to, concerning false life. Mm. They said they, they bound themselves to a curse. Yeah. They said they would not eat anything or drink anything until they have killed Paul. Mm. And the Bible says there were over 40 of them. You'll find the story in Acts chapter 23 verse 12. There were over 40 of them. They bound themselves to a curse and they said they will not eat anything, they will not drink anything until Paul is dead. Mm. And God said they will eat the fruit of their lips. Come on. They will eat the fruit of their lips. Come on. So I'm telling you tonight, child of God, anyone who has bound themselves to a curse, yes. anyone who has sown and Kara taken an oath that you will not see good, that is only over your dead body, over their Ooh. dead body that you will see good, then they will eat the fruit of their lips. Come on. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the day of your deliverance has come. Yes. So even as God is saying tonight. Yes, 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 <laughs> Thank you, yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Come on. This is our time. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. The word of the Lord is coming to pass. Amen. And every plot of darkness will be exposed and expelled in the name of Jesus. Every release of wickedness to set confusion in your life, to set confusion concerning your career, concerning your ministry, concerning your the assignment of God upon your life. Any setup of darkness to bring confusion in your marriage, whatever the enemy has plotted, whoever, it doesn't matter. They bound themselves to an oath that is only over their dead body, you will prosper. God said it shall be so. In the name of Jesus, because this day is the day of deliverance. This day is the day of deliverance. The word of God says they shall surely gather but not by us. God says and anyone that is incensed against you, they shall utterly fall for your sake. They shall utterly fall for your sake. In, in, in Psalm, Psalms 2, Am I going too fast? No, go ahead. And I'm just like, I'm speaking all scriptures. Okay. Psalm 2. Psalm chapter 2. The Bible says, why do the heathens rage and the people imagine vain things? And it goes on to say what God will do. Anyone that has positioned themselves against the child of God. Because in some cases, the people think they are doing God a favor. Mm -hmm. Jesus was speaking. He said, in the end times... People will drag you to the magistrates. They will be accuser, judge, and jury over your life. Uh -huh. And they will think they are doing God a favor. Come on. Come on. There are people that have a reason against you because they think that you are up. They think you don't amount to anything. They think whatever, whatever they might think about you. And they think they are doing God a favor coming against you. But God says in his word, Psalm chapter 2. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain, a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords Come from on. us. Oh, look at verse 4. But he that seated in the heavens shall, shall laugh. laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Mm. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. In the name of Jesus. So I'm excited about tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm excited about tonight. Amen. Because Amen. God said, enough is enough. <clears throat> tonight is terminus. Tonight is terminus in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, this is very Shandala exciting Shandala because um, Isaiah 46 says this to us. Shandala I'm just going to read out of Isaiah 46. Verse 1, the Bible says, Bell mm. boweth down, Nebo stupeth. Their idols were upon the beasts and upon the cattle. Your carriages were heavy laden. That's what the Bible is saying. They are a burden to the weary beast. They stoop. They bow down together. They could not deliver the burden. Hmm. But themselves are gone into captivity. Right. Hear me tonight, child of God. Even as Pastor Pauline is declaring, 
God is saying enough is enough. That which was riding the dragon, that which rode on the enemy and coming after your life, that assignment, that assignment, that designated assignment against your life is coming to not tonight. It's coming to not tonight. And may I say this right now, tonight, even as you're hearing this word, this word is fulfilled in your hearing. Amen. It's been fulfilled in your hearing. Amen. It's been fulfilled in your hearing. That which was riding that dragon tonight is being dethroned. Amen. Thank it is you, being Jesus. dethroned. It is yes. being dethroned. Yes. It is being dethroned. And God is taking over. Jesus. It is being dethroned. Yes. It is being dethroned. Yes. It is being Amen. dethroned. And Amen. God is being glorified. Amen. So get ready with your oil. Get ready with your oil. And those of you who brought oil, again, um, 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 child of God, just leave that container open. All of these scriptures that we are mentioning tonight, I, I, I get it into that oil tonight. I mean, they can get into the scripture. They can get into the oil, whether the container is open or not. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about something symbolic, you know, do something symbolic. Prophetic actions. Prophetic something actions. symbolic. Yeah. We understand that there is a conductive power of God. The power of God is conductive. That's the reason why the Bible says, and I think we're going to get into some of these scriptures. The Bible says that the, the, the aprons and handkerchiefs were taken from Paul's body and they were put on a sick person and the people that were possessed, the, 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 demon, the demonic cases were healed and the, the sick people were healed and the demonic cases were delivered by the reason of aprons and handkerchiefs. Not because uh, uh, Paul said, okay, take, I, I don't think this is how it happened. That he said, take this handkerchief and go and put on the person. It, 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 just may, so it, it just so happened. <laughs> it just so happened. That they recognized. Because the things that he wore, he was a tent maker. Yeah. He had his apron when he was walking. So for Paul, to, uh, being somebody who says, I speak in tongues more than you all, I believe he was walking and praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the power of God is conductive. Yeah. The, you can pray in the Holy Ghost for so long that the power of God rests on your clothes. The power of God rests on your shoes. I've had people put their feet in my shoes and they get slain in the power come of on, God. Come on, come on, come on. Because the power of God Yanda is conducted ba, like that. Ba, ba, ba. It is the truth of the word of God. Yeah, yeah, the Bible yeah. says in Acts chapter 5 he verse 12 goes, goes that ba, ba, God ba, ba, did ba, ba, ba. mighty miracles in the hand through the hands of the apostles. Yeah. To the point that even Peter's shadow was healing the sick. Woo! So I hope, I, I, I hope you're hearing these things tonight because God is moving in power and might. God is moving in power and might. Pastor Comfort, there's a shift coming into your life this very minute. I see the glory of God all over you, all over you. And the instruction I'm hearing for you is to go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost for the next five minutes. Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost for the next five minutes. There is no telling what is happening today. Um, um, what is going to happen in your life, the extent to which is going to go, but we know one thing for sure. Our boundaries have been extended. Yes. Our yes. boundaries have been extended. Yes. Our boundaries have been extended. Yes. That, that, the assignment of the wicked one has been terminated yes. today. It has yes. met its terminus this day in the name of Jesus. And, and some of you can take hold of that and word and just be praying in the Holy Ghost even as you're listening to yes. what is happening yes. tonight in the name yes. of Jesus. Rando One of the things that God yes. said to me this evening as a cautionary word. Yes, ma'am. He said we have become so cautious because people have criticized to the extreme the things that be of God mm. to the point that we have become cautious. We stay away from certain things because we do not want to attract um, attention or we do not want to attract criticism. He said, but I want you to know that you need to go all out if it is my word. Mandala. If it is the word of God, we're going to go all out. That's right. Yes, there is such a thing as a conductive power of God. Yes. Yes, you can. You, someone can yes. can touch something that yes. is yours and they get healed. My God. We have had situations where someone sat in your chair and they got healed. Yes, yes, that's true. In that the chair true. in your office hey, and they got healed. Zabra. Because that's where you sit. You spend time in that place mm. praying mm. in tongues. Mm. So the, 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 the mm. atmosphere in your mm. office is saturated by the presence of yes, God. Yes, man. This is not to heal a human being. It is the truth of the word of God. It happened with Paul, it happened with Peter, it's, it's happening with Pauline Kange, it's happening with Peter Kange, right. and it's happening with Ashley Johnson, Come and on. it's happening with Nettie Phillips, and it's happening with uh, Joan Obeng Ajayi, it's happening with Eddie George, it's happening, come on, put your name there, mm. it's happening with every child of God, it's happening with Eunice Lanze, it's happening with Tina Binta, it's happening with Barbara Matika, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening with Evangelist Evelyn, we're not going to shy away from the word of God, because some people have made it an issue, and criticized it, saying, you're trying to heal a human 
human being. No, we are not hailing a human being where we recognize that it is part of God's word and we will preach, preach the unadulterated word of God. My God, my there God. There is such a thing as the conductive power of God. If you don't acknowledge it, you will not see it work in your life. Yes. If you shy away from any aspect of God's word, that aspect of God's word will not be in manifestation in your life. Come on. Come so on. we refuse to shy away from aspects of God's word. We refuse to dumb down to accommodate Jesus. people's ignorance. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is part of the word of God. It and if you believe the word, the word of God, is going to work for you. <clears throat> Pastor Pauline, I want to read out of Exodus chapter 30 so we can understand <laughs> the, 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 this conductive uh, uh, um, um, aspect that we are talking about. Yes. Exodus 30. Hallelujah. So Exodus 30 talks about the making of the of the anointing oil. It talks about the making of the anointing oil. The Bible says in verse 26, it says, Thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith, and the ark of the testimony, and the table of all the vessels, and the candlesticks of his vessels, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offerings with all his vessels and the, the lever um, and his foot. Now, this is what I want you to see. And thou shalt sanctify them, and they shall be most holy. Whatsoever touches them shall be holy. That's, right. That's what I Come want you to now. see. Whatsoever touches them shall, shall be, be holy. holy. So God is saying something to us. Anything the oil touches is separated unto him. Yes. Anything the oil touches, when God began the ordinance of the anointing oil, he made it as a thing that will conduct. Yes. It will conduct. It will be a symbol. It will be a seal. Yes. When the, when the oil touches something, God sees the oil by seeing his, his like, as it were, his, his fingerprints with the oil mm -hmm. and says, no, that is mine. Yes. You cannot touch that. Yes. That's the reason why the word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And, and, and we're we are going to come to that. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Because clearly, if the anointed is on someone, that person belongs to God. Yes. Now, we are not saying the person is as holy as God. Mm -mm. But we are saying that person, that belongs, person to God. belongs to God. Th this is important for God us to saying understand. saying they are the apple of my eye. That's right. And if you touch them, you're touching That's them. That's right. That's right. Uh, um, Psalm 105 verse 15 you, Psalm 105 verse 15 It says touch not My anointed ones This is the English standard version mm -hmm. Touch not my anointed ones And do my prophet no harm yes. So child of God you're listening to me right now And God is saying you are part of the untouchable the, uh, uh, Pastor Peter I want you also to read from verse From verse uh, 12 Yes ma'am When there were but a few men in number Yes uh, where do I want to start? Verse 10. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I almost said, okay, let's go all the way to verse 8. Yes. He that remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the oh, same sh unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when there were but a few men in number, yea, very few and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, mm -hmm. he suffered no man to do them wrong. Come on. He mm -hmm. suffered no man. And, and the term to suffer is to suffer not. It talks is to about allow. a restriction. Yeah. yeah. He did not allow. So God put a restriction. Yes. This is a holy restriction. Yes. I mean, just think about it for a minute. <clears throat> just think about it for a minute. Someone wants to come against you. Someone wants to destroy you. Someone is thinking evil of you. Maybe they are mentioning your name in some voodoo house or something like that. The Bible says God put a restriction. A holy restriction. A divine restriction. You will not touch this one. That's right. Mm, mm, that's right mm, mm, and even mm. tonight that restriction is being sounded loudly and clearly yes. in the realm of the spirit yes he, he suffered no man to do them Nasi wrong Gandhi. yeah he reproved kings for their sake he reproved kings for their sake hey my he god he reproved kings for their sake yes kings here can represent anybody in a position of authority yes anybody who is in a position where they think they have what it takes to do you harm. come on where they think they have what it takes to to make you bow where they think they have what it takes to make you be, be under and stay under they have what it takes to suppress you yeah god says he reproved kings yes. for their sake. Yeah. He is the same God who visited Abimelech, King Abimelech, oh, and said, on. you are a dead man for yeah. touching Abraham's wife. 
He said, reproved said, Thou for art but a dead man. Yes. So ah, God yeah, can man, reprove yeah, man, yeah, man. Your, your supervisor tonight. Yes. God can reprove your boss tonight. Come God on. can reprove that leader over you tonight. Yes. Sometimes we fight battles that are not necessary. Come on. If you are sitting under leadership and you are convinced, I'm not talking about a rebellious spirit in oppression, you are fully convinced in all humility that they are not doing what God is calling them to do concerning your life. Mm. Child of God, you don't need to stain your hands with blood by mm. rebelling. Mm. Come on. That's right. When you understand that you serve a God who reproves kings for your sake, then you know God can reprove your leader for your sake. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you just stay in your position, long enough to allow God to walk, you will see the hand of God. Ha. So even as we are talking about How this, about understand <clears throat> that this conversation is coming from, um, um, from us talking about the, the, the holy anointing oil. Last, last broadcast, we said to you that you should bring oil like this. Bring oil. Now, you are not physically here, you know, um, 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 at the studio, at our broadcast, but right there where you are, at home, make sure you have oil and make sure you have, you know, handkerchief aprons like we have them here, yes. all right? Prayer shawls like this one, right? The glory of God is going to come on those things. Yes. And they shall be set aside. Anyone who touches them, Anyone who touches those things or anyone upon whom those items go to, mm -hmm. that person will experience a divine visitation That's right. in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. That is going to happen. Oh, no, and, and so we are just reading out of the verse, touch not, yes. touch not. The Bible says he suffered them not. Yes. He allowed no man to do them wrong. He restrained them. Oh, Roba Shanda Rabba Baba. Ba, ba. Thank you, Lord. Touch not my Thank, you, my Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, it's interesting. And that's the same thing that happened with, with the, 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 the city of Ai. Yes. When God told Joshua and the people that they should not touch any of the things. Mm -hmm. Because it was considered holy unto him. Yeah. And anything that God has set apart and co considers holy unto him. Mm -hmm. if, if you touch it with an evil intention, it's a curse unto you. Yeah. So, child of God, understand this. All the things we are saying tonight, we are saying the sword of the Lord has gone forth. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. the sword of the Lord oh, has Lord gone Lord forth, has and it's not going back into its shield until it has accomplished oh, what has it is meant to accomplish. Yes. So Amen. get ready for outstanding testimonies. Oh, get ready for some for some crazy things, terrible things in righteousness. Yes. For God is moving on your behalf, Amen. and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So Amen. this is your time to Amen. rise and shine. For God is ready for miracles signs and wonders Amen. Uh, that's what he does that's Amen. what he does Amen. that is what he does i implore you child of god throughout this broadcast be praying, in the holy ghost. Yes. be praying in the holy ghost come and on the spirit of god will drop in your spirit man things that you need to address even as we are speaking and we are releasing the power of god the anointing of god upon the sub the, the the substances the tangible things you have brought before the the lord tonight yes as you have them before you, the power of God, the presence of God, the conductive power of God will rest upon those items. And God will drop things in your spirit, man, to speak over those things as yes. we're making declarations. Come on. In the name of Jesus. So we are not Jesus. taking this time lightly. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has already told us yeah. that there are so many miracles that will be reported as a Hata result of this broadcast. Brakashima. Yes. Because it tonight is terminus Bushan. indeed. Tonight is terminus in indeed. If you still have your Bibles with me, go to Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. Genesis 18, verse 14. Now, I was talking about uh, um, some scriptures in the Word of God that we are going to be looking at to solidify what we are talking about tonight. Hello, Bessem. God bless you. Welcome. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. We want to read out of verse 14 tonight. The Bible says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? <laughs> Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return. Oh my God. 
I don't know if you're hearing that. I don't know if you're hearing God, God's authenticity, God's power, God's valiance in that statement. Yes. But he says, I will return according to the time of life. Yes. I will return. Ah, there are some of you who are listening to me right now and you have you've said to yourself, what is, what, what is happening to me? Am I only going to get this miracle when I'm old? Is a miracle going to come after I'm dead? And God is saying, according to the time of life, according to the time of life. In other words, while you are yet alive, yes. God will do what he has promised he will do. Yes. That's what God, he did God will promise. God will do. That's what he did with Joseph. That's right. Going back to the same scripture you read tonight. Yes. It says that Joseph received the word. Let me go back to yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, I'm going Ooh. back to Psalm 105. Yes. Verse 17. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, <laughs> whose feet they hurt Shadam. with fetters. He was laid in iron. He has already told us that he restrained people from, from doing them evil. Yes. But he sent a man yes. called Joseph, mm -hmm. who was sold as a servant, mm -hmm. whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time until that his the time. word came until the time until the time so child of god i remember last broadcast we did mention that you should get ready for 2021 because in 2021 some of you who have not been able to travel will be able to travel Amen. hear me very well 2021 it will be an appointed time for many of you and you will be able to travel and and 2021 is a year of missions yes. even as i'm speaking right now i am seeing aircrafts taking off thank you jesus I'm Thank seeing you, planes Jesus. taking off. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, you will be in the plane and you will glorify the Lord in 2021 and Amen. saying, look what the Lord has done. Amen. So is this me? Amen. Amen. <laughs> is this me traveling Amen. like this? And God says, even as I told you, this is the time. Amen. This is the time. Amen. So there are many of you who have been Thank wondering, you, what time is it going to be? What is the time? Oh, when, when is it going to be? God, when, 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 when? And God is saying, watch out because today, that thing that, that was riding the dragon, Oh, that God. dragon that was assigned to you reason for which you couldn't flow the way you are supposed to flow it came into your life as a destroyer god says today is terminus amen today is terminus amen. today is terminus 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 until the time until the time his word came come on the word of the lord tried him Yes. The king sent and loosed him. Yes. When the word came, oh. the king sent and loosed oh, him. Oh my God. When the word came, the king <laughs> sent and loosed him. When the, the, the word has come forth tonight, and the king sent him and the Lord sent him. And you are loosed in the name of Jesus. The king sent and loosed him. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. Yes. And he made him Lord of his house yes. and ruler of all his substance. Child of God, wherever you are right now, come away from any kind of protocol that may be keeping you bound and just pray in the Holy Ghost as a prophetic action of the chains falling off of you. Mandaya braga daya braga dala bra yiko yobo sondori ala baba baba makete ya baga dala bra hada gada lebro golo golo hota la bra heke ya mana la ma kori ala baka la bala bala handa la la bala yeko yolo boso kori ala mana 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 yeko ya la ma siko la bala bala sheko la ma koto la ba heke ya la ba handa la bra leke baro boso kori ala ba heke ya ba kanda la bra kanda Lord God you are faithful Lord God you are faithful yeko ya ma kosa Rabba <laughs> <laughs> 
Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Some of you are going to sense a shift in your homes. You have been feeling like there's a heaviness in your house. Yes. Like there's an oppression over your house. As we are praying in the Holy Ghost. As we are praying in the Holy Ghost. Saturating the atmosphere with the presence of God. The glory of God. And just saw demonic spirits. Yes. Taking off. Taking off. Taking off. In the name of Jesus. So your house will not be haunted anymore. No more. After tonight. In the name of Jesus. For it has been it's terminus tonight in the name of oh, Jesus. So call the Labaga de la Bo, Shaba de la Baga Zekete, Rosconda la Baga de 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 la that just keeps looming in Come the on. atmosphere. Rosco, Talabaka, in Brexit, group tonight and in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Father, we give you glory. Rebrondo lo bokos kakapata. Jebo zanda la brakasha talabra. Child of God, don't keep your mouth closed tonight. Makoto lo brakasha talabra. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Makapa, tolo bokos dala banda. Rebroko doli ya banda dala banda zaka cha. You know the way you sleep is not normal. You know that the way you sleep is not normal. Come on. Where it's like something just comes over you and you cannot, cannot get up. The devil is a liar. Come on. That demonic spirit of late hygiene lifts you tonight in the name of Jesus. Rebroko sko kakapata. Hey, my God. That agency of darkness that was fashioned to keep you broken and poor, raka show, it lifts you tonight in the name of Jesus. Ribro koto laka kakapo, ramaka so, hi makapa, rosko, talabagada la brosko to, I just saw a snail. I saw the shell, the yes. back of a snail. Yes. And God is talking about handling demonic spirits that are in charge of poverty. Yes. It's been Come it's on. caused you to linger, yes. to be slow, to yes. be lazy. You just Fantastic. you sleep all day. You you know you have to get up, but you cannot get yourself yes. to get up. There's a sense of oppression that just oh keeps God. you. You take your Bible to read, you wake up three hours later, you've been sleeping on it. My God. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you glory. Pastor Boy, there's something that the Lord just whispered to me. There's something that the Lord just whispered to me. Listen to me, child of God. You just came. You just came. Like, like this is like um uh, um like like four or five minutes ago. Like four or five minutes ago. The grace for double was just released. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The grace for I double just got released. The grace for double. The grace for double. 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 For your trouble, God shall give you double. For your trouble, for your trouble, God brings you double. For your trouble, God brings double. For your trouble, God brings. Oh my God, 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 my healing so even as these waters are flowing for the double of God tonight for the double of God tonight for the double of God tonight just dive into those waters the grace for double the grace for double the grace for double in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Caroline Caroline, Manda la Braga. Carol Langwe, Maki Broko Saraba. Yes. I don't know if your sister is watching. Before I saw your name, before I saw your name, your name just dropped up in my spirit and the Lord said declare double for their trouble. 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 Rakabo Shandalabra. We release double right now. Double, 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 double. In the name of Jesus. Rekabasonda Labragadayada. Ikado Meshka Bandila Bragada. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone around the world who is supposed to be part of this broadcast but they are sleeping, may when Namash Shebiah will release angels right now to wake them out of their bed suddenly, for there is a word you're releasing for them that they'll be able to hear it in the name of Jesus. Rakaba Shokosha La Brakata, the grace for double, the grace for double, the grace for double in the name of Jesus. For all of your trouble, God says you're receiving double in Jesus' name. Pastor Dada, receive double right now in the name of Jesus. There are some of you, you're going to notice some very strange things happening. You're going to break an egg and it will have double yolk. Ha, he, ha, ha. Double, 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 double. Double, double is coming into your life. Double is coming into your life. Double, ha la bragada. The heavens are open for double. Twins, twins are coming. 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 Sister Yuji, twins are coming. La kaboda la bragada na baba. Rekobo shaba baba ba. Eko bragada. I said twins are coming. Twins are coming in the name of Jesus. For your trouble, God says I'm giving you double. For your trouble, God says I'm giving you double. For your trouble, God says I'm giving you double. For your trouble, God says I'm giving you double. Eka paroko shakata la bra. Emo dolo proko dolo bragada ya bra. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. And Pastor Dada, I heard God say, uh, uh, um, results that will settle all arguments. Yes. Results that will settle all arguments. I see a group of people, it's like they're sitting in in some kind of council and they're having conversations. And they're conversations that are negative things with your name involved. And God said to tell you tonight, results to settle all arguments. You will not have to fight in this matter, woman of God. You will not have to tell your own side of the story in this matter. But God is giving you results. Results that will settle the argument. In the name of Jesus. God is giving you results that will settle the e argument. Kapra, that they will sit among themselves and say, But I thought you said, yeah. How come it is like, yeah, yeah. that's what exactly what yeah. God said come you on, do. Come on, In the name on. of Jesus. So we release it on your life even tonight. By the reason of this anointing, we call it forth into manifestation speedily in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, someone tap into that word right Hada now Hada that God Hada is going Hada to release things Hada in Hada your Hada life. Hada He's going to give you Hada miracles. Hada He's going to bring uh, um, uh, um, um, things that will cause. They are anointed to settle. They will settle all arguments in the name of Jesus. Hey, Kaplanama. We just want to welcome again and say hello to our Zoom family. Those of you who are watching over Zoom. Welcome, in the name of Jesus. For your trouble, God gives you double. For your trouble, God gives you double. All arguments are being settled. Actually, Pastor Dada, I don't know, this is interesting, but I see you moving all over. You're dancing, you're dancing. And God says, dance your way through, dance your way through. Dance your way through. Pastor Kole, that grace for double. I see a staring up even now. I see a staring up even now. Jumping in the water. Come on, stretch it to every level of your life. A double when it comes to your head. A double when it comes to your ministry and your assignment in God. A double with your business. A double in your career. A double, a double, a double in your family dynamics. Rosco, talabagada da brosco, talaba. Mendele bosa with your finances. Rosco, in your relationships. I'm telling you, the heavens are open. Something is happening in the spirit realm. Something is happening in the spirit realm. Something is happening in the spirit realm. Yes, Andrew, I receive healing in your stomach. Complete healing in your stomach. Complete healing in your stomach. Healed even now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, when you go to a CT scan tomorrow, there will be absolutely nothing wrong with you because the healing power of God reaches you now. In the name of Jesus, I will speak healing over your cross. Come on, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
We speak a regeneration of those steps. Regeneration of those memories. In the name of Jesus. Regeneration of those brain steps. In the name of Jesus. We speak restoration of our memories. In the name of Jesus. Long term and short term memory. Full restoration right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. My God. Pastor Pauline, I am not sure who this is, but there is someone just now, you took the oil of God and you began to put it. You began to put it around your home. You began to put it around your home. That's right. Go ahead and do that. Because even as we are praying, there is an atmosphere shift in your home. There are some places in your home and it looks like darkness is just sitting there. But right now, even as that oil is touching different areas of your home, the powers of darkness are living. They 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 are living. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. I just heard the word occult. Come on. Occult. And I understand that occult means dark. Yes. Things that are hidden, My things God. that are done in the dark. Yeah. So when they say occult yeah. blood, for example, in yes. your soul, it means it's blood is blood that is hidden yeah. that cannot be seen with the physical eye. Come on. Rosh So when they say someone is into occultism, yeah. it means they are into dark deeds. That's right. Things that people will normally not Come see on. with their natural Come eye. On. Come on. And even that tonight, God is exposing Come and on. exposing Come and expelling. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Come so on. we take authority over every occult in manifestation in, and its influence is upon yes. your life. We break that evil yes. hand from off of your life in Come the name of Jesus. Gadala, bra, Let that occult manifestation be exposed and expelled in Jesus' name. In the name Lava of Jesus. Shokoto. Anyone in your sphere of influence, anyone in your world, anyone in your realm who, who is operating with occult powers. Rika talabros ko talabagada. May they be exposed. Rika talabros ko talabagada. We release the light of God to shine. We release the light of God to shine. In the name of Jesus. May they be exposed and expelled in Jesus' name. I see someone who's having difficulties wearing shoes. And because of that, you just have been wearing, um, like someone would say, sandals. Uh, things that are very loose. Uh, but, but even tonight, even tonight, God is intervening in your situation. And your mobility is getting better. Your mobility is getting better. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing to your limbs, even now, in Jesus' name. My God. Receive that healing and, yes. and get up. Do something you couldn't do before. Yes. Ramandala bros katala bokoshkota. That's a walking of miracles. Yes. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Come on. Exercise your faith. Come on. By getting up and doing something you couldn't do before. Expecting that the situation has Ooh. definitely changed. In the name of Jesus, when Peter and John prayed for the man at the gate, beautiful. Yes. The Bible says after they said, "Siva and go, we do not have but such as we have, we give unto you." In the name of Jesus, arise and walk. They took him by the hand and they lifted him up. Yes. And when he was placed on his feet, his ankle bones received strength. Come on. So when you receive your healing tonight, do something you couldn't do before. That's right. In the name of Jesus. That's receive right. your healing tonight from allergy to dust. In the name Mr. of Andrea, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. you know, the word of God says in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 10. Verse 38, it says, how God anointed, how God anointed. And tonight we are talking about the anointing oil. Yes. Releasing our faith through the anointing oil. Releasing our faith through the anointing oil. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. You know, this oil is just oil in the hands of a regular person. But when God touches this oil, it becomes something else. Yes. So child of God, I hope your oil is with you. I'm telling you this, that <laughs> there are miracles you will experience when this oil touches anything. We read earlier on out of Exodus chapter 30. We read that how God was saying anything the oil touches mm -hmm. is set aside. Mm -hmm. It is set apart. 
It is set apart. And so the word of God says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. There is something about the oil that makes God to be with you. Thank you, Jesus. There is something about the oil. That's right. There's something about the oil that makes God to be with you. You are anointed so you can do good. Yeah. And the things that qualify as good include healing the sick and casting out devils. And that's the only thing that will follow you goodness. That's the only thing that will follow you goodness. So for some of you, oh my God, there is someone whose vehicle is giving them trouble. Their vehicle is giving them trouble. (laughs) Anointed with oil. You're anointed with oil. Your engine will behave itself. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My God, we've had, we've had, <laughs> we've had testimonies. Crazy testimonies. Yeah. I remember there was a brother who had come and picked Anna me up. Lavrovsky. And and we were going out for lunch. Mm-hmm. And when he had come that day to pick me up, he came with his Mercedes. Mm-hmm. And um, I sat on this. I mean, I didn't know what was going on, <laughs> but I came, opened the door, sat down put the seat belt and, and all of that. And the brother said, and you rolled hold on the window. Yeah, I rolled down the window. The brother said, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold Wait. on, what just happened here? Yeah. He said, this has not operated in such a long time. Yeah, he said, I took it to the mechanic. They told me how much, I took it to the shop. They told me how much I'm supposed <laughs> to spend to get this window to be going up and uh, oh, roll down and la, ba, 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 ba. And I just said, it's gonna stay like this for some time. Pastor, Flo, Pastor Flo. Evelyn, she oh, said, washing gosh. machine. We were, we were in Genado. Yes. We were in Genado, <laughs> and, and the people's washing machine had not worked in a long time. Yes. When, when, when um, one of the people who was with us, part of the team, when they took our clothes and put them in the machine, the machine, the machine came on. But to <laughs> <laughs> We are talking to you about the conductive power of God. That's right. They are not the rest on your clothes, and they put it in a machine that was not working. <laughs> and the <laughs> machine begins to work. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. In the name of so Jesus. So even tonight, you can lay hands with oil on that washing machine. We were in Vineland, New Jersey. <laughs> we were in Vineland, New Jersey. Yes. And um, we received uh, um, an invitation. And and we, we were lodged um, um, at the basement. By a beautiful church. Yeah. My God. Pastor, th- these people are amazing. amazing Apostle people. Hawkins and Pastor Hawkins. Yes. They are an amazing Yes. They the pastor of VOD. Yes. Hello to our VOD family. The pastor of VOD. <laughs> I'm telling you, we didn't know what was happening. Mm-hmm. But at the time when we were there, they said the air, air conditioning system, they had spent so much money to get it fixed. And it just wouldn't work. And it wouldn't work. They had done everything. But God had us in that place. And the machines <laughs> came on. <laughs> the machines came on. Child of God. Gandalf animate and Gandalf inanimate Gandalf. things they right hear now. The voice of they God. hear the voice of God. And even now, God is moving. God is moving. God is moving. By the reason of the anointing. Yes, laptops. <laughs> laptops. We have had experiences like that. We're sharing it on Tuesday. Yes. People bring their laptops into the house of God. Yes. They just lay it on the altar while praise and worship is going yes. on. And their laptops come back to life. Yeah. Laptops that have not been working for a while. Come on. Same thing has happened with cell phones. Yes. That have refused to charge. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they begin to charge. They did yeah. not only begin to charge, by the time the person comes to pick up their, their phone from the platform, it was fully charged was without fully charged. plugged in to any electrical <laughs> socket. I'm talking to you about the conductive power of God. Yes. Take God out of the box, people. In the name of Jesus. God still does miracles. That's right. God still does miracles. That's the point. I remember at the time, we're not married yet. Uh, uh, we're not married yet. I happen to have visited your mom. Yes. And um, she had a, her TV her that TV had not that been not working. working. <laughs> it had not been working for a long time. And um, I went that morning and um, I just said, TV, come alive. In the name of Jesus. And the TV came on. Yep. God is in the business <laughs> of doing miracles, animate and inanimate things. Yes. There is no distance in the Tola spirit, bakas, no Tola restriction, Tola yes. right? God does this thing. There are people, oh my God, increase of finances. You go to the ATM machine and you're ready to withdraw. Oh, hi, Regina. Good to have you. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Regina. And thank you for sharing. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. God is doing something amazing. Remember we said there is an open heaven tonight. Yes. 
There is an open heaven tonight. Everything that was assigned behind you today has lost its ability to come after you. In the name of or in the name of Jesus. It has lost it. Yes. And God said, for your trouble, I give you double. Double. Pastor Peter, in Mark chapter 6, yes, ma'am. the Bible talks about Jesus sending out his disciples. That's right. And the Bible says um, from verse 7, and he called unto him the twelve yes. and began to send them forth by two yeah. and two and gave them power over yeah. unclean spirits. Yes. He gave them power over unclean spirits. Yes. As children of God, we've been given power over unclean, over spirits. unclean spirits. And he commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey. Yes. Save a staff only. Come no on. script, no bread, no money Shana in their purse. Ba 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 because God Shana is a provider. Ba 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 and the Bible goes on to say, from uh, in verse 13, I skipped a few verses. Verse 13, the Bible says, And they cast out, verse 12, And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil. Anointed with oil. Many that were sick. Anointed with oil. Come on. Anointed with oil. Many that were sick and healed them. A katala braga. Listen, child of God, we understand that there are charlatans. There are people who are doing things out there. But I want you to know that the word of God has already taken care of them. Yes. Because the word of God says in that scripture we read out of the book of Exodus, it says clearly in black and white that anyone who shall make oil for personal gain and, and to do those kind of things, that person, even that person shall be cut off. So we are not in, we are not wondering, okay, what's going to happen or what is not going to happen. That is that part. God has already taken care of that. But right here, as we are quoting scriptures yes. and talking about this i remember oh my god i was in my prayer time and i remember i began to see a bottle of oil bottles of oil and i saw the color green and i began to say father what are you doing and so when i began to ask and then i saw bottles were brought and they were green i knew god was up to something god is up to something god is up to something god is up to something even now even now the power of god the power of god is coming into the oil that you have brought before the lord in the name of jesus there is deliverance there is healing in the name of jesus my God, child of God, we give you the permission. We give you the permission to step out and say, I am putting this oil on you, sick person, on this skin condition. I am putting this oil, as Pastor Peter and Pastor Pauline said, we give you the permission. You can use our names in the name of Jesus. But then, most importantly, may you use the name of Jesus. Because when that oil touches the person, they will be healed. Yes. Yes. They will be healed. The Bible says in James hey, chapter 5, is there anyone that is sick, sick among you? Let, Let him call go. for the elders of Let's the church. Right. So we know we are elders in the body of Christ. It says, Let him call for the elders of the church. And they will anoint the sick person with oil. Yes. And the prayer of faith shall, shall save be. the sick. That's right. If he has committed any sin, any sin, it, it shall be, be taken away. I say the power for double, the power for double, the grace 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 for double. Ya broka basha is unleashed in your life. It is unleashed in your life. It is unleashed in your life. In the name of Jesus, I hear 21 years not being able to travel. I don't know who this is. 21 years you've not been able to travel. I see God touching your passport. I see God touching your passport. Even tonight, matters of immigration are being settled. Matters of immigration are being settled. I am telling you, God is going to change laws on your behalf. I say God is going to touch laws on your behalf. The Bible says the heart of kings is in the hands of the Lord. And he turns them in any direction. Any direction he sees fit. In the name of Jesus. Lake Abra, Gadalabra. Even now, God is moving with the number of, 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 of authority, the number of government. God is moving in that place right now. In the name of Jesus. The master has need of you. We were given a word opening weekend of camp. Yes. Summer services. If you have not been to our summer services, in Ashland, Virginia, please make time. You and need come. to come. We were given a prophetic word in which God was saying, The borders may be closed, but I am not bound. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He said, I am, right. I am above borders. I will yeah. take you into the nation. That's right. 
And he gave us another word saying, you've been cleared yes. for takeoff. You've been cleared for takeoff. And you've been cleared for takeoff. So child of God, if you are just joining us, again, this is the Kange household of faith. And we are bringing to you the word of restoration in the spirit of faith. Something is happening in the spirit realm. The grace for double is being released upon you. The grace for double. The heavens are open tonight. The heavens are open tonight. That which had an assignment to come after you and bring you down. That thing has been dethroned tonight. It's been dethroned tonight. No power of witchcraft shall prevail. Pastor Pauline was reading um, um, out of the book of Acts today. The men who bound themselves yes. and said Paul oh. must die. <laughs> oh, Ray Baba. Pastor Pauline, I need for you to read that verse again Acts, for us. Acts 23. In Acts chapter 23, the Bible yes. says that uh, number, first of all, Pastor Peter, in verse 11, yes. God spoke to Paul yeah. in the night. Yes. And the night following the the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou bear witness also at Rome. Then in verse 12. Pastor Bonnie, hold on before you go any further. Uh, uh, this is the power of obeying God. Yes. God watches what we do so that he can open up the doors for the next. Yes. So even now, even now, even, even now, now, there are many of you who have been obeying God and doing things the way God wants you to do them. And I hear God saying, because you obeyed me at first, watch and see, I am opening the doors for your next. I am opening the door for your next. I said the grace for double has been released. Your, your back, the word of God has met with the timing of God for your life. Even as we said earlier on today, he said, according to the time, According to the time, according to the timing, according to the timing, and timing has come upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Paul. So that happened in the night. Yes. God gave him a word and said, you will, you will bear witness also in yeah. Rome. The same way you have obeyed me and you've testified in Jerusalem. Yeah. Then the very next day, and when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse. Saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. Yeah. And they were mm -hmm. more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. Ah, 40. And when Paul's sister's son heard of their lying in wait, he went and entered into the castle and told Paul. So God caused them to have that discussion. Where and, someone who knows Paul And is allowed Paul's <laughs> nephew to hear. Oh my God. Listen people. God has prepared for favor. Favor is coming for you. In the name of Jesus. Caroline, I don't know if you have oil with you. I don't know if you have oil with you. Carol Elangwe. Carol Elangwe. I don't know if you have oil with you. Please, if you do have oil with you, just tell me. Just let me know that yes, you do. There's something I want you, I want you to do right now. In the name of Jesus. There are some people God is instructing to break bread. Yeah. Listen, there are so many instructions. She says she does. She okay. Has. This is what I want you to do before Pastor Pauline says what she's saying. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take that oil and pour it in front of your, your entrance. Pour it in front of your entrance. And I want to pray. When you pour it in front of your entrance, you let me know. Wait, tonight is tonight. We'll see who owns that home. Whether it is God or it is God. Some of you who are also listening to me, it is okay. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can put oil on, on, on your doorpost. You can put it uh, um, on your windows. And we are going to pray right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. No witch, no wizard, no warlock, no power. Power fly of darkness mean that no brachanda will fly over your house a get the brick at all. Thank you, Father. Ragadala Gagada, Shedele Brekadala Bra, De Broko Talabra. That's right. She says, going to the door now. That's right. Ye Copra Gada Yoko Ropro Sabia, the Kete Lobo de Dite, Rika Pacatolo Coscondala Bagana Broco Secate, my God, Capocotola, my God, Macandele Preski, Ria Bayanda, Lada Gadala Gadala, Broco Scoda la Bagada de Bay, Rimanda Broco Socoria Bacasodo Robosha, Macaria Boko de Lima Gadala. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. 
There is a whirlwind, my God. There is a whirlwind that is being released into homes right now. This is God's whirlwind, and it is coming against the whirlwind of darkness. Yeah, in the same way that the serpent of Moses devoured the serpents of, of Pharaoh, even tonight. Even tonight, a kappa dalabra. Put put the oil at your door. Put the oil at your door. Put the oil at your window. Touch your windows. Yeah, get there, get there, get there. Patrick Cham that says I'm going to the door. That's right. I just want you to drop the oil at your door. Touch your windows with it. And we are about to pray. Ma kadala brakada. E koria mo ko sabria kadalo bodo. E kora brakada la brakada. Ni kadalo broko dolo broko shalabra. Ye Korea baka sandala baka shapro kote ike dele breke 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 dele my father, my father, my father. Kapata. That's right. Sister Barbara says I did too. That's good. La kapata la brakata la brakata ya brak. We're just praying the Holy Ghost right now. And, and please just stay praying the Holy Ghost. We want to sustain this atmosphere. We want to sustain this atmosphere before we release the prayer. Baro shaba de kapari ikoro brakanda lo kodo lo kodo lo. Itele breke da. That's right. She says stop. Mangando namba ganda. Honda la bagaze ke telebros kada la graba da. In the name of Jesus, and even in this atmosphere, our never own nation. Yes, Rakato, 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 now, as many as of you as have put oil on, 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 on your door, your window, we are about to pray right now. Get ready, for there shall be a rumble, even as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against the hell of darkness in all of these homes. In Jesus' name, Satan will rebuke you now. Carry your luggages, carry your stuff. Leave now, leave now, leave now, in the name of Jesus. Pack your things, go out now, in Jesus' name. Rakos kaka baba baba ikablo boda la bragada lebikele back away back off back off back off back off this is holy ground this is holy ground this is holy ground right now in Jesus name even as we were praying Pastor Pauline even as we were praying there is a gentleman there is a gentleman even as we were praying the power of God came around your waist. You have been having uh, um, issues. You have been having issues and you've been wondering if you're becoming impotent. The power of God, one of you guys, one of you guys who just anointed your home. I mean, I know exactly who it is, but because of the nature of the situation, I don't want to mention it. One of you who just anointed your home, the glory of God came upon th this man. This man, I think this is your husband. But the glory of God came around your waist you, and impotence was just destroyed. Thank you, Lord. Just like that. Thank destroyed. You, Lord. Just yes. like that. In the name Thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. It shall not be your portion Rosh anymore. Shot, In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank Lord, I thank you for what you've done. Not just in Carol, Carol Langway's home. But in every other every home, other everyone home. listening and watching right now, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you have done. It is permanent. It is sealed in Jesus' name. Amen. You will sleep peacefully. Amen. You will sleep peacefully. Amen. So we release the peace of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Pauline had mentioned earlier on that some of you were led 
or have been led to break bread. Yes. Yeah. If, if that's you, obey God. Yeah. Obey God. So obey, obey the Lord. God. Karala broski di abayata. Acts chapter 19. We mentioned the verse, but I want to give you the scripture. Yes. Acts chapter 19. Ora ba shatara broski tara verse 11 and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul yes you can put your name there and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Pauline yes and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Peter yes so that from his body from her body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them even as you've been soaking in this atmosphere of glory the anointing oil that has been in the presence of God before yes. you tonight. Oh, Rabakata. Ah, ah, the ah, handkerchiefs ah. that you have been saturating with the presence of God as we pray for the past one hour and a half. Hallelujah. If you lay them on the sick person, they will recover. Demonic spirits will cry out and live in the name of Jesus. Whatever you anoint with that oil, Rakandala broshe. You will see the deliverances and the breakthroughs that are expected in the name of Jesus. There are some of you who are saying, I, I, how can I sow a seed? Well, the information is going to go on and you can sow a seed there. Caroline, Carol and Langwe, please. Let me know if your husband is with you. I, I, I want to read this scripture and I want to read it out of the English Standard Version. First um, Samuel chapter 16. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. There is joy in the atmosphere, Pastor Pauline. Yes. People have come into joy. People have come Hallelujah. into joy. Hallelujah. People have come into joy. Leka Branda Satara The brother who got healed from impotence. Your story has changed. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. I want to read from the English Standard Version. The Bible says, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. Now, that has its own story. But there's more I need to say to that. It says, in the English Standard Version, it puts it this way. And the spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> rushed upon. I the like spirit that. of the Lord rushed upon David Amen. from that day, from that day forward. forward. Amen. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. In other words, that's right. Okay, Caroline. Hallelujah. Tell him to dance. I said, I said, I said, <laughs> tell, 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 yes. I, well, you can hear me, sir. Dance. Because you've come into celebration. Amen. That which Amen. was holding you bound has suddenly left you. Amen. Suddenly, Thank suddenly. You, it has no more power to hold Thank you. you Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you've been set free, set loose Thank you, just Jesus. now in Jesus' name. Amen. Kimberly says, I can feel the joy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Pauline, do you Hallelujah. have that in the King James Version? Uh, first Samuel. First Samuel chapter 16. Chapter 16. Verse 13. The suddenness of God and the atmosphere. The suddenness of God and the atmosphere. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, verse 13, right? Yes. 16, 13. Yes. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Now, I like the fact that it says it came upon David. But the English Standard Version, that's why I wanted to read that and bring that out. Because he rushed. Yeah, it says the, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. I like that. It rushed upon David from that day forward. Child of God, hear me very well. Woo! Come on. Yes, sir. I just saw something. Wherever you are, wherever you are, because I mean, we, we are coming to, to the close of the broadcast today. Wherever you are, I want you to put this oil, right? I want you to put this oil upon you just like I did and lay it upon your head. It will be in the same way that David, <laughs> that's right, Carol, 
Kara says dancing with joy. That's why. Put that, put your hand upon your head, even as I'm doing right now. And it is going to be with you in the same way that it happened with David. As the oil of God is touching you right now. The spirit of the Lord God is rushing and coming. It is rushing and coming. It is rushing and coming. It is rushing and coming. I hear God saying, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. And I am that I am is with you right now. I am that I am is with you right now. I am that I am is with you right now. Even as you're putting that all upon your head, the spirit of the Lord God is rushing upon you. It is rushing upon you right this minute. Right this minute, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he kapato kapa shakata pate, he kapato do kopeti, naki kapra kada la kajala do, shaki na la broko tolobre, he kote lebra hanga da la bra, rakaba rakaba do ko shabra kada, he kote la bra. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when the enemy sees that oil upon your head, he shall run away. He shall know this one is untouched. He shall know this one is untouchable in the name of Jesus. Rakabasha, even now, healing comes to your body, rejuvenation comes to your body in the name of Jesus. That which was dead comes alive now in Jesus' name. Cancer is being destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, Father. Yeah, come on, someone worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. You are worthy, 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 Lord. That's right, Kimberly. She says, This one is untouchable. That's right. This one is untouchable. Even today, the protection of God comes all over you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Inna la mara la mana shanda ya bana la mana ya na ya na na. Oh, rolo mo sondo libre geta la bra gata ya la bra. I am yours, Lord God, and you are mine. Men na 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 shanda ra ba 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 ba. Oh, shena la ba ya la ba. Hey, men mo sondo la ma ya na ya ba ba. Migrants disappear now in the name of Jesus. No more migrants in the name of Jesus. No more migrants in the name of Jesus. Oh, Monyama. I think this name is Omwal. I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. Omwa. Watching from Kenya. The hand of the Lord is upon you. There is promotion over you. Omwa. There's promotion upon you. There's promotion. There is promotion that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. You will be called. Get ready. You will be receiving a call. You'll be receiving a call. We bless you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. There is no one like you, Lord God. We give you glory, Jesus. Child of God, the thing that was assigned 
to bring destruction in your life today has been dethroned. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And God says for your trouble, you get double this day. God is giving you double this day. The grace for Amen. double. The grace for double. The grace for double. The grace for double. La braga shebre kota la bra. The grace for double. The grace for double. The grace for double. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Caroline, I mean, Carol Langue, the moment you said I tap into promotion prophecy, I, I just saw, I'm not sure what you do. Uh, um, I, I'm not sure what you do, whether it's in the, in the healthcare field or, or, or whatever it is. Um, but there is going to be an opening and, and sometimes some of these things you have to be able to to actually just get on to do it by yourself but there's going to be an opening for you to take some classes for you to take some classes and i hear god saying right after those classes double promotion shall be available for you it shall be available for you there's a place you're supposed to come into and 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 that is going to be opened up for you in the name of jesus bless you robert watson robert watson Labragada, the grace for double, the grace for double. I am not sure if you are in ministry, but I see a grace for teaching upon your life. I see a grace for teaching, teaching upon your life. Robert Watson, a grace for teaching upon your life. And I'm seeing doors opening for you to teach. I see doors opening for you to teach. And I even see that you are a man of counsel. You are a man of counsel. A man of counsel. You're able to bring a word of instruction. I see that doors are open. And, and this is not just a new thing for you. Where, 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 where opportunities come for you to release counsel. For you to release counsel and tell people, well, this is what needs to be. This is what needs to be out of that place of, of, of the, 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 the grace to teach. The grace to teach. And, and doors will be open even for you to do this. Doors will be open for you to do this even more in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you have ever done seminars before, seminars or conferences, but I see this is big. This is big. This is big. The grace to teach. The grace to teach. The grace to teach. The grace to teach. Father, even tonight, I bring your son, Robert Watson, before you. And I pray, oh God, that you will begin to open doors. Doors for him to flow in teaching. Where he will bring the wisdom that you have given him. The grace for teaching. In the, in, 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 in the open, in the open, in the open, in the open, in the name of Jesus. Now, this is interesting because some of this has been happening in the background. You've been doing this privately. This, you know, you've had yeah. relationships yeah. where you've been interacting with people one-on-one. -on -one. But I see that the Lord is about to reward you and bring you into some level of promotion where you'll be dealing with people on a bigger scale, on a bigger scale, on a bigger scale. La de ke barando sharaba, ya kiando lo korobo shandalabra, ike telebrakara. You'll be doing this on a bigger scale, on a bigger scale, in the name of Jesus. Ha, kapatalada. Yes, Robert Watson. Robert Watson, God is going to do this in your life. You're being rewarded in the open what you've been practicing um, um, in private. And, as, and especially because you've been doing this with a certain level of integrity. God is bringing you into a place of reward. Yeah. He's bringing you into a place of reward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you be like a big brother to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. come to you for counsel. They come to you for wisdom. Yes. And when Pastor Peter was speaking, I just saw like the hand of God on you with, with, with the awareness yes. that you, you walk in the gift of wisdom. Yes. There's the, 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 the when you talk about First Corinthians chapter 12 about the gifts of the spirit. Yes. The, the, the gift of wisdom. Mm -hmm. 
is very strong upon your life yes so man of god walk in it this time around with a greater level of awareness yeah. recognizing that yeah. is something that is yeah. an oppression Come on. upon your life Come sometimes on. when people are sharing with you their their issues while they are yet speaking yeah the solution comes to you yes and you tell them i think if you just do this and do this and do that and they they have seen results by following your counsel walk in a greater level of awareness mm. now knowing that the gift of wisdom is in operation upon your life come on where god will give you solutions to yes. what people are going through yeah you know you, you every now and then you have you have had um word of knowledge yeah where you are able to know the the reason behind whatever is going on but more importantly the gift of wisdom yeah. on how to solve whatever the people are going through yeah but Savone, it's so interesting because it, even as we, we we are talking and and praying for him i see that some of these things have just been happening you know how someone just says well you know i just kind of know that you should this is what you're supposed to yeah. do but yeah. god is bringing you into a place of of uh, not just awareness but of boldness and yes. and, and certainty yes. where you, you're supposed to walk in boldness and yes. certainty and and this boldness is really good because now you can you can move you can move and say but i know that this is what god is saying to this yes. person yes. and 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 this will help you and also help the people that you're going to minister to because you will not be quote unquote silent right. you will now you will not be shy to release yes. what 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 god is saying yes. to you to them yes. uh, um in the name of jesus Amen. hallelujah rabba shanda yeah god bless you sir god bless you sir so so we even speak this thing let there be a manifestation let there be manifestations in the name of jesus there's such a beautiful spirit with you um you're not like one of those people who's always um uh, and gloomy you're not one of those gloomy people that does there's always joy that accompanies you you're, you're you're always on the smiling side you know of life and god is going to use that to be a blessing to many people in the name of jesus hallelujah apostle don ross okay good so you can see we just called we just called you at the same time apostle don ross god bless you we celebrate the anointing of God upon your life. Marando Shagadalebre. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leke Expansion Robo into new territories. Yes, in the Expansion name of Jesus. Expansion into new territories. Expansion into new territories. My God. God said, even in this season, there will be a greater level of the apostleship in manifestation. In the name of Jesus. With signs, miracles, and wonders. Yes. Like you have never seen. Yes. Like you have never experienced. That's right. And there will be no box Ooh, that anyone can put you into. Come on. Right up to this moment, there are people who think they have you all figured out. Because there's a set way that God has been using you right up to this point. Yeah. But God said, I'm expanding your territories and I'm opening up, opening you up to new avenues on how I will flow through you, in and through you. So as you spend time in my presence, you will experience and you will begin to walk in a greater level of my power. And there are many dimensions. So the channels of your spirit are being opened up even tonight. Um, greater sensitivity to the yes. voice of God. The, the, the different ways by which God speaks is like avenues of perception yes. are being opened up yes. In, yes. In, in, yes. in your yes. being in the name of Come Jesus. Down, yeah. And you will flow differently. And many people will be like, oh, we've never seen this flow yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, Apostle, this is new. And, and you will begin to hear a lot more of that. Come on. Because that's Come how on. God is going with you in this season. Flow, man of God. Yeah. Don't hold back. Yes. Do not hold back. In Jesus' name. So, Apostle Don Ross, and and, and even as Pastor Pauline is speaking and releasing these words to you, uh, I, I I can I can see you as it were at as, at crossroads, and as I'm looking at you at crossroads, it is not crossroads as in confusion. It's not crossroads as in confusion, but you you you've been waiting and saying, I am I'm looking for a fresh word from God. I, I am looking for new direction. I am I need new direction. And God says, even tonight, because even tonight I could hear you say that. And you were saying, I'm looking for something new. Is this where I'm getting a word for a new direction? God says, But watch and see this because this is new direction that has come unto you. This is new direction coming unto you. For he is going to set some things in order, and you're going to begin to flow in those things rakima shodala bragada for you're coming into a new place you're coming into a new place a new place of grace a new place of grace, a new place of operation, so to say, in the name of Jesus, and you will begin to move, and, and some things will become very clear before you, not like before, but they will become very clear, and, and he says, take hold of this tonight, for you are going to come into this new place without fail, in Jesus' name. 
So even now, we pray for you and the work that God has called you to do. We pray that there will be a change. Oh my God. Even, some, even as I'm saying change, I'm hearing the word metamorphosis metamorphosis almost as if you're being metamorphosized into something else so there is a there is a change of skin oh my god so so there are some things you've been going through also there are some things you've been going through and you've been wondering okay so so what direction am i going and and so even tonight there is a birthing there is a birthing that is taking place and i'm telling you man of god even as you come into a place of rest even as you come into a place of rest god will begin to speak to you in dreams and visions and releasing clarity in your life lucky brush and i'm not sure what this was because this was happening and it seemed as if the flow had come to an end and you said well it, it looks like this is just over this is just over and god is saying no watch and see because i'm the god who brings things full circle and he says even in your life you come into a place into full circle you've come into full circle you've come into full circle so there are some things that are coming back into your life and say watch and see because i am there's a convergence <laughs> i like that word there is a convergence there is a convergence there's a coming together there is a coming together says the lord and and watch and see these things because you're going to flow in them in jesus name hallelujah i like this convergence convergence yeah. convergence you know. because pastor Pony, you know sometimes we think it's all hope is lost so when god begins to speak about convergence it's interesting it's lovely because you want you want to see the coming together of the word of the lord in your yeah. life and some things are going to fall off some yeah. people also will so, fall off yeah in this season because some of them will not be able to accommodate the new that yeah. god is ushering you into yeah uh, but it will it will be a peaceful falling off it Come will on. not be a problematic issue yeah it will not be because of strife it will just be a natural falling Fall off, off yeah. because you, you are being moved on to something else yeah. and that that level is not for everyone not because they are inferior but because where god is taking you they are not part of that land yeah so there will be some of that happening it is it's beautiful it's Amen. all good it's all good in the kingdom hallelujah all good in the kingdom you you, you discover that you are be becoming more picky sounds negative yeah um <laughs> but more 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 in, intentional with with what you say yes to yeah. and what you say no to right because god will be very strong-handed on you yeah. to say seek my face on this yeah before you say yes to anything you will hear him yeah. you will hear him you will hear him hallelujah oh my god what a night 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 hallelujah we give you glory lord god well we have come to the end of the broadcast but listen child of god some things that I want you to take note of tonight god said the thing that was assigned behind you has lost his rider yes the rider has been dethroned yes. the rider has been dethroned <laughs> so for everyone who's had forces of darkness come after you that thing that was riding the, the thing that was riding the dragon that was bringing destruction in your life tonight it has lost its rider it has been dethroned so it has met its terminals the power of god has come and taken over in the name of jesus and because of that god has said for your shame god has given you double Amen. for your shame you have double Amen. the heavens are open yes. for double the grace for double the grace for double the grace for double and we have all here today because we are believing the lord that the oil of god that you brought has been transformed with all the words that have been released tonight over this broadcast all the words that have been released have gone into that oil and and just i mean as you go ahead and you administer oil for the word of god says clearly everywhere the oil touches becomes separated it becomes separated unto the lord and and, and god begins to reign um on, over those um we said bring aprons handkerchiefs some people brought prayer shawls right yes. some people brought prayer shawls and, and um whatever you have the bible speaks about the, the glory of god that moved that moved with with um um paul uh, aprons were brought yes. handkerchiefs and, and people took them and, and and please understand this even demonic spirits yes. demonic spirits 
demonic spirits left mm-hmm. their their homes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because because they come and sit there like that 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 yeah. that, that that's they, not they their new home. The person, their home. Oh their no! Home. Even tonight, Had things that have been spoken Had forth Had and established by the occult have been broken yes. in Jesus' Amen. name. As Amen. a number, I said, for Amen. your shame, God has given you double. Amen. Amen. He has given you double Thank in the you name Jesus. of Jesus. Bare komanda sheke tali braga da. Oh, mande le brege da Oh, hi, mom. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Willy Sane. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good oh, to have hi. you on. Good to have you on. Uh, I, I saw your name and I heard God say peace. Amen. I heard God say peace. 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 And I'm not sure what this is, but there's been some kind of heat. There's been some kind of heat. I'm not sure what, what, what this is, but I hear God saying peace, 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 peace in the name of Jesus. So we speak that peace right now in Jesus name, peace, peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Say hello to your husband, the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou art faithful. Thank you, Jesus. You're faithful. You're faithful. Hallelujah. You're faithful. So the next time we are going to be on again Tuesday. is in, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's <laughs> going to be in five days, okay? Five days we are going to be there. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, Carol. We appreciate you. Thank you, woman of God. We Hallelujah. We, we, we just appreciate your obedience. We talked about you bringing oil today, bringing some things, putting them before the presence of God, and that God is going to move upon them, and you did so. God bless you. We talked about sharing. You did so. That's amazing. Amen. God bless you for that. Pastor Comfort, get ready for that word. Ooh. It is going to be, I believe, um, the word said 26th. Yes, 26th. Of this 26th. Week. There is someone you're going to be praying for, Pastor Comfort. There's someone you're going to be praying for um, um, who is going through a, through a situation. They are on the bed. They are unable to move. But you pray for this person and God will raise them up. Amen. God will raise them up. God will raise them up. Hello, Diana, Mary. God Hi. bless you. Always good to have you guys from yes. Kenya. You are How are your women doing? <laughs> Hope they are all doing well. So God is moving in power and mind, and he's going to be doing these things that he said he's going to do. The glory of God has filled your oil. It has filled your containers. Amen. It has filled your containers. So go ahead and use them as the Lord will direct you. Amen. Uh, he, he, oh, yes. Oh, yes. On, on Tuesday, we are going to take testimonies, and we are going to be praying some more. Yes. We are going to take testimonies, and we are going to pray some more. Amen. So use them as directed by the Holy Ghost. All right. Use them as directed by the Holy Ghost. It's not a new fetish. No. We have shown you scriptures in alignment with what we are doing. It's not a new fetish. Yeah. The prayer of faith saved the sick as they laid hands on them with the oil. Yes. So we know what we are doing. And we've shown you scriptures that align with everything that we've talked about tonight. That's right. Don't go back. Go all out in obedience to God. Be a dera in the kingdom. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Be crazy for Jesus. And that's how you see crazy miracles. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Listen, guys. Let's go to the hospitals and empty them out. Hallelujah. Let's go to the hospitals and empty them out. Empty them out. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are releasing the word. Hallelujah. We are releasing the Thank word. Thank you, man of God, Regina. We receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God bless Hallelujah. you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. We are going to be having uh, um, Pastor Eunice tonight with our offerings, and he's going to come on with Pastor Landry. So they're all going to come up and, and they're going to lead us with offerings tonight. It's going to be wonderful. Asumta Abba, God bless you. She says, Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed evening. Amen. God bless you too. God bless you too. We receive that. In the name of Jesus. Hello, Sister Lisa. <laughs> She says, Bye. thank you, Kenge household. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So thank you for coming into our home. 
and for letting us into yours. Yes. Again, this is the Kange household of faith. Where we where bring, we to, bring you to you the word, the word of, of restoration, restoration in the spirit, spirit of, of faith. faith. So enjoy the restoration. Amen. Hello, Patrick Chambers. He said, powerful message. God bless you. Yes, God bless you too, sir. Oh, I am telling you, there is a new place for you, sir. Patrick Chambers, there is a new place for you. There is a new place for you. 